Jedi Fallen Order sequel is perhaps the number one game I'm looking forward to in the current lineup of Star Wars games. And in the past couple days, we have had some good and bad news regarding the game. So in this video, we'll be getting into the fact that it looks like Jedi Fallen Order sequel is going to be a next gen exclusive game. And what that means for the scope and scale of the game as it started to generate a fair bit of controversy and mixed opinions from people. And also it looks like the game is not going to be coming out in 2022, unfortunately. So I'll of course get into the information on that. And we also have more doubling down on the notion that this game will be getting its reveal at Star Wars Celebration, despite the fact that there are no Star Wars game centric panels at Celebration for some reason. So yeah, there has been a bit going on for Fallen Order in the past couple of days. So we're going to go over all of it today to keep you all up to date. And this is some pretty important stuff. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. But now let's get into the video. So all of this comes from the trustworthy Bespin Bulletin and Jeff Grubb, two very well-known industry insiders that keep hitting the nail on the head with not just Star Wars games, but Star Wars in general. Now, before we get into the release for the Jedi Fallen Order sequel and everything you need to know for Star Wars Celebration, it was recently mentioned that Jedi Fallen Order sequel will be a next gen exclusive, and this will tie into the release date, which we'll talk about later. But this is what has been said. Gaming industry insider Jeff Grubb revealed in the latest episode of his Nintendo-centric podcast via Bespin Bulletin that the sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will release exclusively on next-gen consoles and PC. The popular gaming guru claims the highly anticipated sequel will not be released on PS4 and Xbox One and will instead be exclusive to PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC. So this has been met with very mixed reception because going next gen exclusive means not everybody is going to be able to play the game. So understandably, it's hard to say that this is amazing news because a lot of people might miss out on playing the game straight away because A, they can't find a next gen console because they're hard to get depending on where you live or B, they just can't afford a next gen console or PC. So for those people, I absolutely feel for you, I do, and it does suck. But at the same time, the industry does need to move past these old gen consoles. And Fallen Order going next gen exclusive means that the shackles for this game, they are off. This game can do things its predecessor literally was not capable of doing. The scale and the scope of this sequel is truly limitless now with the power of next gen consoles. Think of the worlds that we'll be able to explore with the next gen hardware powering the graphics and scale of the Star Wars planets. Like that alone has me excited because they don't have to compromise so the old gen hardware can run the game. So I personally see this as something that needed to happen and I think it's a good thing. But at the same time, I do sympathize with people that can't get their hands on a next gen console or can't afford to. But the full transition into next gen has to happen at some point. Now let's talk about the release date for Jedi Fallen Order sequel and the Star Wars Celebration reveal that we can be expecting. Now this does tie into the next gen thing as well. So everything here comes from Bespin Bulletin's website. I'll of course link it below if you do want to read it all for yourself once we're done here. But it says... During the latest episode of his giant bomb show Grub Snacks, Jeff spoke about the sequel only being available on current gen consoles and explained one of the reasons as to why. One of the reasons they're going to be able to do that, release on current gen, is because it's not coming out until 2023. This game is for sure now not coming out until 2023. I guess it's a slight disappointment, but I think we've been preparing people for that on the show anytime we talk about it. Every time it comes up, I said they were targeting 2022, but nobody should really get their hopes up for that. Well, now we can for sure say it's definitely 2023. So yeah, this is good and bad news. Good in the sense that this gives Star Wars fans more time to get their hands on a next-gen console or PC. Bad in the sense that it doesn't come out this year. I think we were all holding on to that shred of hope that this game would be releasing at the end of 2022, but the game is going to get more time in the oven. It's clearly a much larger scope game than the first Fallen Order and what we initially thought, and the extra time can only do the game more good than bad. Now moving on, and some people got a little bit worried yesterday when Star Wars revealed their panels for Star Wars Celebration and there was no Lucasfilm games or a big game panel. There was just one for Star Wars Hunters. And that set off a lot of alarm bells for Star Wars fans and people were thinking we weren't going to see anything for Fallen Order sequel at Celebration because of this. 
But Jeff Grubb went and calmed people's nerves saying this. I said this last week, but then Star Wars Celebration put out their agenda and it's nowhere on their agenda. They say nothing about Respawn or that game, but don't worry, it's going to be there. It's just not on the agenda. It'll show up there. It'll be a pretty big deal. It won't have its own panel. So that's pretty calming to hear. And I'm sure a lot of you who were a little bit worried when you looked at the panels for Star Wars Celebration when they were released are probably breathing a little bit easier now. I know my, myself personally, I was actually getting quite worried when I saw that. But Jeff Grubb has come out and pretty much calmed our nerves on this. And Jeff did go on to reiterate that yes, the Fallen Order name will be dropped for the sequel, but that's nothing we hadn't heard before. But that point is really being hammered home, so it's definitely not going to be like Fallen Order 2. It's definitely going to be Star Wars Jedi Electric Boogaloo or something. But yeah, some real mixed news today, some good, some bad, just depends on where you are with next-gen consoles, but I personally am really happy to see this. This just means the game is going to be much larger scale than we initially thought. It's going to have better graphics, hopefully better gameplay, and just overall a true next-gen Star Wars game experience, which, I mean, who doesn't want that? Now, this does mean that we could potentially be getting the Fallen Order sequel and the KOTOR remake in 2023 if rumors do end up coming to fruition. Keep in mind, the plan for Star Wars games 2023 onward was for them to release a game every six months or so. And that's been getting thrown around for a while now. And given the future lineup of games and how everything is working out with the timing, it looks like that's actually what is going to be happening. It looks like that's panning out. Like a new Star Wars game every six months? That sounds pretty damn good to me. It's just a shame that there's no proper multiplayer games in that lineup. But anyway, guys, that is about it for today's video. A lot of stuff regarding Jedi Fallen Order sequel. What do you think about all of this? Are you happy with this news? Are you pissed off by it? All responses are understandable. Let me know down in those comments below. Remember to subscribe to the channel as May the 4th is just days away and celebration just weeks and we'll be covering it all along the way. And I'll probably be live streaming Star Wars Celebration here on the YouTube channel as well. But that is pretty much going to do it for me today. Remember to check those links for Owner Saber in the description below. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next one.